What is going on guys? It is your boy McAteer here and today we're going to talk about this effect and how I kind of created it in Cinema 4D. Now the first step is actually just to create the object. I don't know what came into me. I thought a castle would look cool um, on top of a book, you know, kind of like a, a mis mystical kind of feel. Now make sure that you also uh, increase the segments on each of the objects. That way when you blow it up uh, using the explosion tag, it will kind of you know, make smaller pieces rather than larger surfaces. And we have all these settings. The strength is pretty much what it sounds like. It's the thing you keyframe. The speed is just how fast it goes out. And the angle speed is kind of the randomness of uh, you know, the things. Very helpful. Yeah, so just keyframe the position over time. Now, in order to get it to kind of rise out of the book, I, uh, I kind of keyframed the position of the cube and pushed it down. That way you can kind of see it kind of form up and come through the book in a way. Well, that's at least what I was aiming for. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. In order to create the debris, I just used another plane and put an explosion modifier on there and literally just uh, keyframed it halfway through. And in order to make it rotate, I did what you'd expect. I just rotated the whole, uh, you know, the whole platform or the whole, I don't know, debris. And this is what it kind of looks like all done. Um, I know I used the book as a shadow catcher for the shadows or the materials. You may want to do that as well. Now we can get into motion tracking. Uh, I've already made a, you know, a tutorial about how to do motion tracking in one of my other videos. So I'd recommend you watch that. Um, it's relatively self-explanatory. The only thing you may have to change is just if you don't have a good tracking, you know, tracking points, you may need to add in some manual tracks and do it yourself. And voila, tracking points. And yeah, I also did create a book in 3D space. That way it had something to, or had the objects had something to kind of come through. Now we can jump into After Effects and pretty much put the whole thing together. And this is the simplest part. Um, I did have to mask some areas of the book uh, where the little pieces were showing before the whole thing came out. But other than that, uh, it worked pretty well. You can also add in some smoke if you like. I turned down the opacity a lot so you can't really see it. Um, yeah. And other than that, you just need to add a color grade, make sure that you color correct all your objects, and uh, it's done. A really simple effect. 